Uh, actually, going back to, uh, to, to your tool, to Lodroid, um, the, the standard version is, is quite uh, cheap. It's $150, right, per month, dollars, euros, dollars, I guess. Um, uh, but then many people see this kind of, of uh, prices and they say, oh, there, is a, there are hidden costs there. So uh, it's, too, it's too cheap to be, to be real. So, um, and they usually ask for the kind of onboarding and they think that it is very, um, or they wonder at least, how do you implement that? Because obviously you need to feed the bot and this kind of thing. So can you explain a bit what typically uh, for a solo lawyer or small firm, if they decide to, uh, to, to, to hire Lodroid, what, what would be the process? Sure. So we have two basic plans. One is, and, and I'm going to shock you with this, it's actually $50 per month. Okay. <laughs> with a 30-day free trial. So I really wanted to throw the doors open to anyone who wanted to use the platform and from my point of view, to get more people on board as users, that's what I'm looking to do. Yeah. Um, and have everybody share in, in, in what you can do with the platform, which is some amazing stuff. So that plan is $50 per month. The second plan is for enterprise. And that's where we speak with them one-on-one -on -one and we price it out based on their needs. Um, enterprise obviously is where our profit center is. Um, but the fifty dollar a month plan can work for most solo and small lawyer, small attorney, um, small law firms to get them going with automating the mm -hmm. practice. Okay, but uh, so um, imagine that a small firm wants to do that. Um, I mean, um, if if it's a matter of of taking, I would say leads. Uh, then I guess the process is kind of clear. But can you uh, give example of what a, a small firm would do with Lodroid and how they would do that? I mean, do they uh, have their own use to the to the to the to the tool, and they are the ones feeding uh, the information in, inside the boat and deciding on the what is? I mean. What the pro how heavy is the process and what what is the process like yeah you're right it, it, at first it might seem intimidating because you you kind of have a blank canvas and then what do you create you know uh, there's so many possibilities we try to make it as simple as possible so there's two main applications that people think of when they're running a, a law firm one is lead capture like you want to bring in new business, right? So you want to have a bot on your website that people click on and then it asks them their name, phone number, email address to get them to become a new, new client. And so that is what we call a lead capture bot that captures leads. Mm -hmm. And to make it as simple as possible, we've created templates in the Lodroid system. So there's a simple lead capture bot template and you just click on it and it auto creates the whole bot in your platform. And of course you could jump in and you could change the name of the law firm. You could give the chat bot its own name um, and you could even change the colors of the bot to match your law firm branding mm -hmm. and put the logo in if you want to and all of that stuff. Um, so that's one way that we try to make it easier. The other way that we try to make it easier is if you want something that's more custom and you've worked through the system, but you're not, you're not quite sure how to do it, um, we have a, a flat fee of $300 where we can help you uh, to set up your bot. And so that's, it handles most customers, $300. But if they want something that is like, you know, thousands of different questions and, and, uh, very complicated of course it's going to cost more but for most people that are just trying to get a handle on launching their bot 
customizing it, putting it um, with the name that they want and the branding, we could help them do that. Okay, excellent. Uh, finally, uh, Lodroid is integrating with uh, Clio, which yes. is uh, possibly one of the or the biggest uh, uh, practice management uh, case management software. Uh, what uh, what exactly does it does it do with Clio? What's exactly the can, can you explain or? <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to. So the way it works is. Lodroid is out there talking to people, right? And it's mm -hmm. gathering information from these people, their name, their contact information, all kinds of good stuff. Well, how do we get that information out of Lodroid so that it's useful for, for you? You know, we want to be able to connect with your case management system or your contact uh, relation management system and be able to automatically send that information out. If it didn't do that, Lodroy captures the information, then you have to take it and then type it into a system. And we don't want to do that. We want to automate everything. So right now we have a built-in integration with Clio Grow, which captures leads. So if somebody gives their name, phone number, and email address okay. to Lodroid, we immediately send it over to Clio's system. And then the lawyer can follow up through that system. And we also integrate with Clio Manage, which is for managing cases once once they're already a client and we do the same thing, we can export the information into, into Clio Manage. And can, does it do like, for, uh, for example, the follow-up, like typically a client wants to know what's, what's up with his or her case. Uh, is it something that Lodroid could, could help with or is helping with? Like you can ask the bots like, what about me? What about my case? Yeah, so there's the, the two typical use cases that lawyers have is one capturing a new lead and the second one is intaking a new client. Mm -hmm. but, we, but we also do um, this checking in that you're talking about. Yeah. And I call it a milestone bot, <laughs> like checking it at the milestones of a case. Because if you're a lawyer and you've done a case long, uh, you know, let's say divorce cases long enough, you know that there's certain milestones in any case. So what you could do is you could program a bot to give them information about their case at each milestone. Okay. And the way you do it is really simple. You write an email to your client, or you could have an autoresponder that you program to automatically send out an email, and it has a link to your bot that is checking in with them about the milestone. And it just walks them through a conversation. You could even include little videos in there that explain this is what's going on with your case at this point in the progression of your case at this milestone. Okay, interesting. I have uh, two final questions for you. Uh, first one is um, Cosa Maria and me, we are uh, currently organizing the Madrid edition of the Global Legal Hackathon um which will take place at the end of march at a madrid bar association um is uh we and actually it is usually in hackathon the problem is to find coders willing to participate because you know legal is still not as sexy as other industries yeah. uh and uh so um we have decided this time that we would uh, also partner with a uh, no code platform so that we could make sure that even if uh, lawyers interested in participating could do that without coders um so because um you say that no droid is is uh, simple to handle uh, is it so simple that you think someone in a weekend a lawyer in a week over a weekend would be able to do something with low drive, something workable. Definitely. Um, I think, I like to say that if you could create a flow chart, you can create a bot in Lodroid. It's that simple. Okay. And, and like, not only can you answer questions, but you could also automate documents. You know, there's, there's so much that you can do in, in Lodroid, even implementing natural language processing to understand what somebody's asking and then serve up an answer. So I, I, 
I'd be thrilled for people at the Global Legal Hackathon to use LawDroid. So I'm happy to make it freely available to them. Okay. <laughs> well, the We'll discuss this then. Okay. Excellent. And uh, uh, final question. Did you get to meet Joshua Broder? And uh, did you compare your law droid with the do not pay chatbot? You know, we haven't compared it. And and strangely enough, like we haven't met in person, although we've been in the same places a few times. Um, <laughs> like uh, the Clio conference in 2017, we both were speaking at that conference. And I was so excited about possibly meeting him because, you know, he inspired me to get started. And um, we just missed each other, you know? Happen. Yeah, and now he's so successful with what he's doing. I don't know if I'd even get a chance to talk to him, but um, yeah, no, I think he's great with what he's doing. And he has that youthful energy to to get it, get it done. <laughs> Excellent, you're, you're very successful too. I've read somewhere that you had been awarded like 10, 11, 11 awards, something like that. I think I've read. Yeah, 11 awards. That's on I've your got, LinkedIn profile. I've gotten some honors and that's, I'm very, very grateful for that. Excellent. Thank you very much, Tom, for uh, spending this time with us. And we look forward to uh, hopefully at some point having you in Spain, having Law Droid in Spain, and having even you in person coming and visit and practicing your Spanish. <laughs> well, I would love to. Um, I do have ancestors that stretch back to Spain. So it, I, I love every time I get a chance to visit. And um, also, you know, Law Droid is it's available internationally. So if anybody would like to try it out, uh, they can go to lodroid.com and get started on a free trial. Excellent. Let's hope that many people will do that. If suddenly you see that you have a lot of demand from Spain, <laughs> uh, you will know I'll where it's coming from. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you, Laura.